Sex workers and curb crawlers operating in Birmingham being targeted in a crackdown on prostitution by West Midlands police. Officers say they're taking a zero tolerance approach in one area of the city, increasing their efforts to ban prostitutes and their clients and even offer them rehabilitation. Our reporter Ben Godfrey joined police patrols last night. We have stopped you before. We've never stopped you before. Right, the area, where, yeah. where are you staying at the moment? It's half past eight on Birmingham's Hagley Road. It's still light, but police suspect this woman is already touting for business. Do you wait for a mate? Why couldn't you wait in your home address? She denies she's a prostitute but receives a police caution. Here in the city's main red light district, if a sex worker gets three such warnings in as many months, they'll face the courts. Her appearance to be one of a Class A user, a drug user, because she was stood and just looking at the traffic as we passed, there was a need to stop her. Officers have arrested seven sex workers so far under Operation Scarlet. They've interviewed 25 curb crawlers in this area on the roadside. But they say the aim is not about prosecuting, it's about diverting these people away from prostitution. Critics say Operation Scarlet won't necessarily see sex workers banned from the streets. Lisa, who's just had her benefits cut by the government, told me it won't stop her working. Because they need to make some money, mate, that's what it is. But you've been cautioned by the police tonight? Yeah, I know. So what do you feel about that? I'm still going to go to whoever and make my money. What do you make of the work the police are doing here? They're doing really good, but it's making me lose out on money. That's the only problem. I don't think that in the next 12 months we will eradicate sex workers from this area, but we will substantially reduce the problem. In the early 90s, police were accused of failing to get a grip on prostitution and sparks flew at a public meeting. A prostitute complaining about a zero tolerance campaign in Borsal Heath, once dubbed Little Amsterdam. Local residents decided to mount their own operation, intimidating sex workers. And the effect, well, prostitution moved to Ladywood. And here, residents wanted to work more closely with the police. So there were curb crawlers, uh, women were afraid to walk up the street for fear. They eventually got to grips with it, but it, it's not just the police, it's, it's, it's a social problem and it's a problem that includes local councillors, it includes social workers. These officers didn't confront any curb crawlers last night. In the first instance, those potential clients are being asked to pay £250 to attend a police rehabilitation course. Well, Ben joins us now from Hagley Road in Birmingham. Ben, how successful have other vice operations been in other parts of the Midlands? Well, Operation Scarlet, which obviously is here now on Hagley Road, actually was piloted in Coventry earlier this year. 21 curb crawlers were either charged with soliciting or cautioned. Some faced the courts, but around 80% actually took up one of these one-day rehab courses. Now, clearly... They won't be named and shamed publicly as they don't appear in court records. Now, West Midlands Police has been keen to get drug and alcohol workers out on the street like this to actually support uh, prostitutes. They believe it's one way of eradicating the problem. But they're very clear about this. They're monitoring the persistent offenders uh, and they number around 12 on this particular road, both men and women. We heard from a prostitute in, in your report saying that she'll carry on working regardless. So what kind of legal powers do the police have? Uh, well, if a sex worker is ultimately arrested and charged in court, they could be given something called an engagement support order. They'd be legally obliged to meet up with uh, addiction services, even actually given support to find a house in the area. Um, police are very keen to stress that although loitering and soliciting uh, is a crime, they believe that they can actually help these women and men indeed. Uh, they believe they need support because they see them as potentially vulnerable victims of someone who's motivated by greed and money. Um, this scheme will continue here for the considerable future and indeed across the West Midlands potentially too. OK, Ben Godfrey, thank you. The time is 17 minutes to 7. This is our top story tonight.